Hi, Scorpio. It's Elle here to do your uh, March mid-monthly general reading. The messages won't resonate with every Scorpio, but if they do resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel, Knight of Cups. All right. Scorpio or maybe another water sign is offering, offering love, offering their cup. Hey, offering the option to... Uh, to build emotionally, offering um, emotion to a situation. All right, Page of Pentacles, because there might be messages of stability here uh, surrounding uh, this offer. Could be from a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. Hmm, five of Cups. All right, so uh, someone is grieving. Maybe grieving the past, grieving uh, someone could actually have lost real um, loss of life dealing with that. Um, if not that, then uh, someone's grieving a third party situation. They grieving a situation that was they didn't have much fulfillment in it anyhow. Six of Cups. But you felt like this person is or was your soulmate. This situation could involve children. You can still be having very nostalgic thoughts about, you know, this person or person from the past. What's this? You can even be having communication with or there's lack of communication. Messages not going through. That's what I'm hearing. Like you sending messages, but either they getting them and not responding, or vice versa. You put time in here. The Seven of Pentacles. You're waiting for this to harvest to manifest in your favor because you put time into this. All right, Seven of Pentacles once again. Definitely, maybe with an Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. The sun. Some things will be illuminated to you. You could be dealing with a, a Leo also. But this is the universe saying, you know, we need to shed some light on some things. We need to give you some clarity on some things you, you don't have clarity about or some things you felt like you had clarity about. We're going to shed light. It's going to bring about, of course, it's going to, you know, bring about um, the fact that now whatever is it was hidden is now out but we're still going to bring some positivity in the, in the situation all right so we took a break meditation prayer about i'm here having some solid financial a solid financial life this was your hope and wish solid family life but definitely they prayed about this they fought for this they manifest this with the nine of cups here you might have even taken a break all right Could be dealing with uh, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Ace of Wands, Eight of Swords. Somebody took a break from a relationship. They were hoping that they could come back together. But what the cards say is that, you know, maybe y'all have gone as far as y'all can go karmically in this cycle. You still wanting to reignite this to want to be to reignite it be passionate about it but maybe an air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius can't see past the past they can't see a way to get to um, a new beginning with you Scorpio yeah here's Scorpio 
This could just very well be you. The Death card, the Eight of Eight of Rods. Rapid communication, things moving fast. Maybe something ended. Now something else is coming in. It's coming in. Knight of Wands. Maybe there was transformation in the relationship. Four of Cups. Empress. Ooh. Home. Sagittarius. Prayer. Uh. Some of you were contemplating breaking up, like breaking up for good. Because the Three of Swords is before, of course, the Four of Swords. You were contemplating even divorce. There is separation of the Four of Swords. Because you can't, you cannot take your mind off the fact that maybe a partner was unfaithful. There was, there's infidelity here. I'm trying to find balance. And that's why you took a break from the relationship. You were not taken to any offer. It looks like they, they came rushing in passionately trying to rectify things. But it's like you really had to. They had you all up in your head about it. And you're a water sign. You're in motion. Like you didn't even know how you felt about it. All you knew is that the thoughts about it were just that you needed to um, take a break. Because all you can think about is the the negativity of the situation. You can see no way out. See no way into um, maybe the Seven of Swords devising a plan of action to, to get away from the negativity. To get away from the betrayal. It just wouldn't reduce for you. Probably will magnify for you go to the net nine of swords i just popped out ten of pentacles so we got some solid money solid home life here maybe with the capricorn virgo taurus six of pentacles nice reciprocation here maybe with the king of wands okay not reciprocation spoke too soon this is problems in the relationship. Problems in the second marriage, second relationship. Doesn't have to be second, but there's problems here in a relationship. Maybe with an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. They're either choosing a new path or you need to choose one. So this is your energy, the Five of Cups. You're grieving this third-party situation that they had you a part of. There's inequality here. There are problems here. Someone needs to choose. You might choose, or they may choose just to lay down the burden and try to have a new passion to start by way of giving some truth and clarity. Right. Try to have victory by truth and clarity. Ooh, but Page of Swords. Someone could be spying. There's harsh words. Yeah. Ooh, you know what I just heard? Somebody just said... And, and excuse my French to those who are very sensitive out there. Somebody just said, F it. I want a divorce. This person tried to bring you some clarity and some truth. It looked like you, you pounded on them for it anyway. And then they finally were like, well, you know, I'm just going to be honest. You know, uh, this happened and that happened. It was like, you know what? I want a divorce. I, I, want, I want to not be here anymore. And I'm not going to be here anymore. Yeah. I think I think a lot of you um, just said, you know, an effort. I, I just, I'm good. We're good. All right. Let's see. Let's see what's going on with another set of Scorpio. Ooh, what's this? Zeta. Somebody is really, you know, you're having communication the eight of wands you're having communication with um you know your partner this is either loving communication or is communication about the trouble in your relationship due to jealousy and or greed there is tr there is a communication about you know if it's about the trouble it might be to a divorce 
lawyer. Yeah, you're having strength in dealing with this because you're walking away with the Six of Swords. You mentally checked out because someone has a lover. Is um, Hang on, guys. Let me plug in my computer. They have another lover. Or... Uh, They won't make the decision. So you're just going to move forward in victory effortlessly by yourself. Maybe away from a Queen of Wands, a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Sagittarius, though. Or. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra with the Queen of Sword. Then here's you and the King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That's Scorpio. Knight of Cups. Nine of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Right. Two of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Two of Hearts. Two of, uh, two of Cups. Yeah. Alright. Uh, so, Scorpio, either you're leaving a situation... Somebody's leaving you because you can make a decision. There's a love affair. There are the lovers here. We've got the other woman, the main woman, and then there's you. Uh, don't get too tied up on signs. But somebody's leaving. Either Scorpio, you're leaving an unfaithful partner, or an unfaithful, or a partner's leaving you because you were unfaithful, or you are unfaithful. Um, there's no reciprocity here. There's problems here. It's just problems in the relationship. So somebody's going to just put the relationship behind them. Um, they're wearing up the decision to do so, but they know they're in a love affair. Wow. And then the Nine of Diamond. Nine of Pentacles. I can say Nine of Diamond. Um, yeah, they're done. They'd rather be single, whoever this is. Tired of arguing, tired of fighting, tired of tired, I'm tired. Tired. You get on my nerve. I don't know who that's for. I don't even know where this energy is coming from, guys. I'm pretty, you know, classic most times, but somebody out there is just like, you get on my nerve. I am tired of you. Leave me alone. Let me make my plans to leave you alone so you can leave me alone. Let's get some butterfly oracle cards of support and guidance. Self-care. I can see that. Be true to you. Some of you are not being true to you. You're trying to do what society is telling you. It's best for you or what you deem is best. Self-employment at the bottom of the deck. You're stronger than you know. Um, be true to you. Be true to you. You're stronger than you know. Some of you feel like you can't leave a situation Excuse me, I want to rephrase that. Not that you can't leave a situation, but some of you feel like in leaving a situation, you're leaving a lot behind. You're leaving a lot behind. Yeah, healing from the past. Um, you're leaving a lot behind, and there's children involved. There's so many different variables. There's so many moving parts to this. If it were just you, I would have left a long time ago i don't know who this is for wow but the card is telling you to be true to you if you want to go go everything is about devising a plan plan of action and then moving on the plan so we've got the four elements we've got um we've got air and then we have uh water and then we have uh earth then we have fire, and then we have earth. Uh, in that order. Uh, firstly, you know, things manifest as thoughts, okay? I'm devising a plan of action to leave. I'm in my mind. I am planning this out. I'm plotting it out. Um, that's what I'm doing. 
and now in my in my emotions I'm getting emotionally strong so that I can actually take physical action fire action to actually move away from or move toward or whatever but to take action so that I can see whatever it is I'm trying to materialize pinnacle whatever it is I'm trying to manifest pinnacle whatever it is um, tangibly uh, you know um, on that physical plane on this physical plane that we live in I'm trying to get there so it looks like for a lot of you, you're just going to have to go through the energy. Starts with the thoughts, ends with the pinnacles. Alright? You can do it. I mean, like... I don't know why I'm being... T this is crazy. I'm Because when I'm finished, I'm finished. Uh, Alright. Let's see. Pull another card. Pull some more cards. Right. Queen of Queen of Clubs. That's our entrepreneur. Our charismatic, outgoing, outspoken, beautiful, seductress, or seductive type of energy. So, wow. Help and business. Help and business. Success and business. And you get a self-employment partnership, legal issues. You might have to deal with some legal uh, issues in regards to maybe self-employment. Six is paid. Moving away from making small achievements over your burdens, over what seemed burdensome. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Four of club. Unsuspected, unforeseen, bad event. In the playing cards deck and the right away to roll this is you know solid foundation six of hearts some good Samaritan help even after calamity All right wow a reliable friend a jack of clubs nice they move in fast too wow a new marriage new love for you, Scorpio. Hmm, nice. You gotta wait. You're weighing up the decision. What to do. This is also the business partnership. Maybe not approved of. Or you're trying to weigh up the pros and cons with that. Wow. And at the bottom of the deck, expectancy. The three of club. Um, you plan it those two clubs and now you've got that one club with you and you're expecting the four clubs you're expecting a solid energy a foundation that's why they told me to pull another card all right for some of you that's a that's a that's a good financial or good self-employment read for somebody who's really um a little love here too uh, but for somebody who, you know who it's for. If it's for you, it's for you. If it's not, leave it, all right? So if this resonated with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Um, remember, Scorpio, I am praying for you. Pray for me as well. Um, when in doubt, pray, guys, all right? Thank you for tuning in. All of my information is below. If you feel like you want to schedule a personal reading, maybe to expound on some of the energy, some of the self-employment energy. Uh, you know I'm all about the money. I would want to know more about that than the love. Anyway, moving right along. Um, or you want to know about what's going on in your love situation. Um, personal readings are available, okay? All right, so take care, guys. Uh, talk to you in April. Bye.